Man, longevity. What do you think, John? What is it? The key to longevity, huh? Yeah, in the music biz. <clears throat> yeah. I think one of the really big keys to staying viable and continuing to evolve in today's music industry is to completely ignore it. Some of the times we've made mistakes in our career have generally begin, been because we weren't following our hearts. I've watched friends be part of big trends as they come and, and they have huge success and of course with those big peaks comes the big valleys as well. When those trends go away, those, those guys tend to go away as well. When I started out in this business, I didn't want to come in and stay for a few years and leave. I wanted to make a life out of it. I wanted it to be a lifestyle for me. I wanted it to be part of my life for as long as I was able to go. Uh, 53 years after the fact, I'm still glad I made that decision. I still enjoyed it as much as I did. Walking on stage in front of people and entertaining them is my big deal. The thing that builds longevity and the people that I've admired and respected for their longevity is just being very real, very true, not ever really giving in to something that's not really in tune with what they're about and who they are. You're not necessarily chasing what's going on and what's what's following the trends has is, is been very helpful for us. And uh, you know, just, just playing and going out and actually playing, I think is a big part of sticking around. Uh, I say the key to having longevity as an artist is definitely always staying creative, being able to switch it up, but still being consistent, which sounds kind of tricky, but the game is tricky. So you got to be able to do all those things at the same time. You know, you look at the people who have had a long career, they've kind of dabbled in everything, um, the Dollies and the Rebas of the world. Just kind of be open to, to other things, to things that other people might be like, I don't know about that, you know, <laughs> just, just kind of take a few little leaps of faith and um, just trust your gut. Honestly, the thing that gets, that makes people old is when they say like, I don't get that, so it's dumb. Like, it really is. I'm not calling BS on like Chevy, because Chevy's my boy, I really, but like, it's funny, because like, he's just like, nothing's been good since 1978. Like, that's essentially his stake, which is what kind of makes him cool, but also like, He's not like, you know, my brother's not, have you heard new Chevy Chase album? Like, he's not like going running out. I guess it's just about um, just making sure you, you put out really amazing stuff and hold yourself to a really high standard and, and just work really hard and keep putting out amazing things. And then hopefully people will stay on board. I think the key to longevity, having a long career, is um, I think pace, not rushing to, to go get a number one hit right now. And like, where do you go from that? Coming in the game with a number one record, like, where do you go? Number one, you really gotta love it. You really gotta be passionate about it. You know, show everybody that you deserve to be up here and that you love what you're doing. This lifestyle is so, so difficult. And, and in order to, to keep yourself in line and to, and to sort of be healthier, to do whatever, you're fighting all of like the free alcohol and like all the people offering you drugs and like staying up all night and like you basically have to have to fight every all of those things in order to to be well rested enough to put on good shows that consistently good shows that people will will come to expect from you. You have to get your rest. I can't go to the after parties, you know. I have to get my rest and take care of my voice and mainly being dedicated. This is what I feel that the Lord put me here to do. As sure as Moses stepped part of the water, as sure as Cain had to pay for his crime. Any like musicians I've got to know, like you see they're really workaholics and they work so hard. I mean, you know, like Arcade Fire or, you know, Radiohead or anybody, like all those bands seem to be like such you know, seriously dedicated and uh, put out a lot of great stuff and tour really hard. You know, you look at the guys that have been out there for 30 years, I can look at George Strait's career and, you know, with the exception of maybe one or two songs here or there along the way, I think that guys had just good song after good song. I really respect the people like Bruce Springsteen and uh, Madonna's been around for a while and has been consistent. Elton John, Billy Joel, people who've 
who've just been able to carry through and continue providing for their fans. I think the first voice I could ever pick out on the radio was George Michael, and he is vocally just, it's just perfect. As far as being, you know, in Oklahoma and seeing other people that had done so great, Garth, he's somebody that I think all of us still strive to, like, want to put on a show like Garth. The pimps in the crib, ma. Drop it like it's hot. The artist that I look up to the most and respect the longest is definitely Snoop Dogg. He's the biggest example of, you know, working hard and it paying off and, and, and staying busy and staying relevant. Jay-Z, you know, Jay-Z is like people my age and people like my little brother's age and younger still like Jay-Z. He was like on the cutting edge of stuff and then as he, you know, you know, years have gone by and he's and he's he still has number ones. People like him and Madonna stuff like that haven't opened enough mind to look at stuff and be like, that's a, something that maybe I don't like I wouldn't do if I was that age, but everybody else seems to be connecting with it. Let me figure out what that means. Off the top of my head, I like, you know, Radiohead, someone like that. Like, I really look up to uh, Bright Eyes, a group that like kind of is always thoughtfully not just moving their sound forward, but shifting it side to side and accessing different genres. The flaming Lips and Wayne Coyne. He's just always working, he's always creating something. Seeing a guy like that that's so dedicated to, to just being creative and like making art, you know, like I find that to be really inspiring. If you could make everybody poor, just so you could be rich. What I've always wanted to do is be here in 20, 25 years and say, I'm, I'm still doing what I love, and I'm still doing it at a high level, and, and uh, people seem to enjoy it. If you want something bad enough and it means that much to you, you're going to find out a way to make it happen. I like it all. I love it all. love doing it all. That's what keeps me going. And I'll get on the bus and ride another 500 miles and go do it again tomorrow night. And I think if you asked any of these bands, uh, maybe Arcade Fire on the heels of winning a Grammy, is one that would agree that as long as you stay true to your artistic heart, you know, everything's going to be just fine.